yes YouTube we are back again it's a very windy day up north what time is it Luke? 7 o'clock just getting the HQ northern bit just very dirty boots we've got a good day planned for this episode lots going on today um, obviously we're shooting that all behind the scenes we've got a team workout we've got a new menu getting built with the coffee club um, and lots more See ya in a bit. So, um, just for context, YouTube, myself and Emily, Emily's our head of operations. As I've already referenced, she's like our little uh, hush up in Jordan Belfort, she's very tenacious. Um, so, she's in charge of following up all the leads, as well as a million other things. Um, leads are coming to the business because um, obviously we're selling the best product in the world for men um, in the Northeast in terms of. Improving their lifestyle, um, improving their health, improving their, their mindset, their confidence, their, their physiques. Um, so it's not like we're selling something shit, or you know what I mean. We're, we're selling a, a trans, transformative experience. So um, she's doing extremely well with it. So what we'll do is on a Monday we'll we'll review the week previous, and then when it comes to Wednesday we'll do like a midweek, just very quick touch base meeting. Um, see where we're at in terms of our targets and performance and things see how the paid ads are working all the boring business stuff uh, but all the important stuff and then we'll put a plan together that we must then execute and hold ourselves accountable to for the remainder of the month so that's what we're going to do now and then we're going to go to the coffee club <laughs> so today as i've said already on the intro of the video the coffee club is going through a little bit of an overhaul as well um, we're going to look to serve our current customers and the ones that we can get hold of which is technically our members across CJ6 and TC and um, which means we're going to produce food that is more on brand um, with the people that we serve so that obviously takes a lot of work in the back end a lot of preparation uh, we're very lucky to have Adam working behind there who is a chef by trade um, so he's going to be in today and we're going to be building out our menu um, the team will probably be tasting no doubt especially if Sammy's about uh, see how that goes down and then we'll look to push out all the marketing, the social media. Um, we need new fridge for them. Expensive times. But we move. All good. Let's go. So we'll chat coffee from now, just very quickly. Right, guys, so we'll just come off the back of the, the midweek KPI review of the coffee club and the TC with Emily. We're now sitting with the man Marcus and we're going through January's intake. So. All the guys who were lucky enough to get a spot on this intake, um, it's absolutely imperative that we have a seamless kind of transition from what they were doing previously into the club to get a good understanding of um, what we're about. Um, and yeah, Marcus is responsible for their, for their journey, I guess. That's all about what we're doing, what's the crime. So we're just essentially going through those who are on the intake and just going through sort of their attendance, just reviewing kind of progress markers, um, reviewing their initial notes from the onboardings, um, delivering um, some action bullets and some focuses for them to take into their second week, so we completed the first week which was just getting them on board, uh, was getting them into the community, into the environment and kind of showing them kind of what we're about a little bit. And then now uh, as we're going into week two we're giving them some focuses to um, be a bit, a bit more aligned towards their goals long term. Um, and kind of speaking sort of into the future in regards to things that they can be working on to have an impact on that goal which they brought to us within their onboarding. Um, we're reviewing performances, um, certain people who were, who were standing out uh, and just kind of getting an effective understanding of the, the overall um, performance of the intake and just reviewing how it's gone. Yeah. Um, the, the most important thing with these guys is, is trying to <coughs> get them to understand that the health and fitness isn't like a, a quick fix and we're not a fucking quick fix gym. Like, the TC is a lifestyle, and for these to change their current habits, their current way of thinking, they're in the best place possible to submerge themselves into like working with positive and like minded men, um, working with expert coaches and stuff who can guide them through um, their journey, and, and, and again, like, let them understand that their health and their fitness is an infinite process, and um, like I say, it's not a quick fix thing. So. Like I say, Marcus is the man behind um, having these people come in and embodying the brand, and embodying the the way of thinking that we, that we deem fitness should be about for men. Yeah. Just a bit of feedback on kind of how the first 
two weeks has gone, or the first week. Um, a lot of the shift in mindset and motivation has been something that's been really high. Uh, yes, we are trying to get results from them in the a results business, but like Ross just mentioned there, in terms of the lifestyle, in terms of the approach we take with them, we are thinking long term, longevity, we are looking to improve their lifestyle long term. Um, in some of the massive, some of the, the feedback that we've had from week one is the shift in mindset, is the increased energy levels, it's their increased motivation, um, their disciplines outside of the gym have improved through being more consistent in the gym. So. It just shows after even 10 days with, with work, um, the progress is, is going to be really good to see um, come the end of the six weeks, so very much looking forward to it. So for those that are watching, uh, you may be new to the channel, you may be local, and not sure how you can become part of the training club. Now then, what we do at the minute, or this year, um, for quality purposes, um, for member experience purposes, we have limited and exclusive intakes um, at times that suit us best. Um, because we don't want to dilute the experience that a member will receive when they come there. So, um, yeah, I guess we put a cap on, on the capacity of the gym this year, um, which means we do genuinely have limited spaces. Um, it's kind of like a one in, one out process at the minute, which is pretty cool for us, I guess, in, a, in terms of the position to be in. Um, but how you can join is, I guess, just look out for the next intake. Um, the next one's going to be in March. Um, and yeah, look, look out for the information on Instagram. We've got loads of information on, on the website. The six week challenge is the only way that you can come into the TC, but it has to be via an intake. Um, so whenever space is available, the six week challenge then gets fired up. Um, and I guess that's the, we've, we've decided the six week period is the perfect uh, time frame for someone to come in and experience the training club from top to bottom, see if it's for them and see if you're right for us, I guess, as well, because it is a little bit of a graduation process. We don't just let anyone join. Um, so yeah, within the six weeks you'll come in, you'll obviously have your onboarding day. If you're successful with your application, uh, we'll, we'll go really intensely on a one-to-one -one, um, basis with you in that one, in that onboarding day, sorry. And then and then we'll just look to submerge you slowly into the, into the community, into the building itself. You'll gain access to 18 PT sessions, eight of the team training sessions, which is going on now, which I'm sure you can show Lou in a second. Um, yeah, you'll work very closely with one of our one of our senior coaches and um, your guides are through the six week period and like I say, make that seamless transition as I've already mentioned um, from your current way of thinking, what you perceive fitness to be now, whether it's cutting, bulking, binge diet, whatever it is, and we'll submerge you in a new way of thinking, adopting TC as a lifestyle. Two, one, there you go, come on, that's the time. You know, it's like the YouTubes. Matt is late consistently every single session, right? I'm six minutes late today. So we're going, going into 30 seconds fast, 30 seconds slow on the assault bike. This is punishment, really. But Matt, if you're watching this, fucking stop being late. But similar to what I was asked in Edinburgh when I got put on the spot in regards to when, if, I, if someone was to walk, walk in or stand at the glass doors and see what's going on, the gym snapshot that you would see tells the story. I almost feel like I go through that similar, or was going through that similar process myself. I come in, see the gym in a snapshot, see coaching in a snapshot and think, one day I might think, oh fuck hell, we're shit, we're doing this, this, isn't this wrong. Other days I come in, oh, the best ever because we're doing this, this, isn't this. The, snap, the snapshot tells the story. Um, which is why I obviously think it needs to be just on, on point all the time. But obviously we've got, I don't want too much like fluff because we've got our own company values, which I'm gonna put you on the spot for some bonus points in a second. <laughs> uh, we've got the company values, we've obviously got coaching, coaching values, then we've got the training product values. So they're all like cool buzzwords to have, but we do really need to embody and, and believe in them. Yes, it's product, product shots, product shooting. New menu coming soon. Hero products of the coffee club is the protein shakes, the protein oat balls, and soon to be high protein, healthy takeaway dishes. Chef Adam will be whipping up the storm this afternoon in the form of tasters for myself and the team. Um, and then we'll just look to refine, I guess. Everything will be macroed up. 
we got a new fridge that will be in there ready for all of our members from TC, Studio 6 to just grab. And so they've got a macro friendly, high protein, healthy dish every day for the lunch. No, no, that's Product testing. Freeze beans. Where? Why are you on the menu, bro? What I tell you? The last one, how good was the last one? I had the Picacho Sarnies. Oh, yeah. Weird? Nah, really. Nah, it's way back. Oh, Jason was going to do three minutes worth of work. If you've got an idea of how far you can achieve in three minutes, try and move towards it. So I'm going to try and achieve 750 metres in three minutes. So I'm out to competition. You be you. See you at the top. I think we've got the Wednesday's box off now. Personal training in a controlled state, isn't it? It's just fine, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah. Big in it. People should never have the idea that they can't come in and do one. Um, I think we're just going to start with three dishes, aren't we? Yeah. 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 Start with three dishes. What are they? Uh, so we got chicken, a little bit of seasonal greens, and we roast a little bit of garlic, some basmati rice, and some natural yogurt mixed with a little bit of chili flake and honey. Uh, the other one is uh, chicken, pesto, yogurt pasta, mm -hmm. fresh greens in it, roast vegetables, nice bit of like hearty meal rather than sort of picking around the wood. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to go for a beef version of sort of beef and potatoes. Yeah. Like Dover beef, we roast overnight in some red wine. Crushed beef and potatoes, buttered chives in there, a little bit of garlic butter on the side, seasonal roast greens. Sick. Sick. I guarantee it's going to do well and it will absolutely serve the type of people that we have um, on site. And I'm looking forward to launching it basically. Right guys, so to bring you some value in this video, I'm going to be giving you now the five biggest lessons as a gym owner. And I'm going to start with numero uno, which is the, the heartbeat, I guess, of any business, which is money. Without it, you simply cannot operate. And um, the biggest lesson for me that I, that I had to learn very, very quickly is um, cash flow. Um, like you have to adopt the mindset that you, the money you have today isn't tomorrow's money. Um, you have to forecast uh, big surges of growth, big downward spirals of growth. Like you have to have a, a cash flow that's gonna allow you to do the things that you want to do um, whether you want to invest in like sexy things like merch um, you have to understand there might be a slow return on that so have you got the money to do that but then still cover three months worth of wages and whatnot um, yeah that was the biggest thing for me because obviously naturally when your money lands you think Whoa, let's just spend it let's buy loads of kit and i'll be honest my mindset the first definitely two and a half year and we've only been going just over three i've always run quite a tight ship because I wanted to grow fast so that is the risk element um, but I'm, I've never been someone who's shy of risk so we just pretty much sent it so I'm kind of contradicting myself here but you do we're still here do you know what I mean so you still I've, I've obviously done something right but I think the earlier you can learn that the better um, and just understand that cash is king I guess in the business world it's lesson one so lesson two for me is to hire good humans, good people. Um, sometimes hiring someone with the skill now um, isn't always the, the thing that's necessary. I think if you can get the right person, skills can be taught and nurtured. Um, and if you've got a good egg who's willing to, to do the work, run through brick walls for you and the guys around them, I think that'll surpass anyone 
with the skill now. It, it's almost like the saying in, in football, I guess, that, that uh, hard work beats talent. Um, if talent doesn't have, have hard work. I think that's kind of the, the case in every walk of life. Um, it's something that I've definitely found and seen firsthand. So that's lesson number two. Lesson number three is don't go too small. Go big from the off as it's an aspirational thing to then grow into um, and set your gym up for the next 100, 150 members, not the 50 that you've got now. I think that was my mindset at the beginning. I was too locked into what I seen in the moment and that reflected on the kit that I had, the size of the gym that I had even, because we very fast um, outgrew the space that we had and we had to knock that wall down, then we had to knock that wall down. Then we've had to rejig the gym completely. Obviously in hindsight, like hindsight's a wonderful thing, but I think if I was to give anyone else a word of advice, I'd obviously say, if you're, if you're an aspirational person, you back yourself, you've got a good product, then just go big from the off um, and, and see that as a thing to grow into. I think we did do that in some element of always like buying one extra pod and what we actually needed. That was my way of kind of ticking that box. But in regards to the space itself, like I would personally love another one of these that way. Um, I think that would, which is which is our next three year cycle goal, I guess, um, to get a proper HQ. But yeah, lesson number three, go big. Lesson number four is gonna sound a little bit contradictory, but it's to always invest in mentors and people with higher skill than you, people who are doing it, doing it or have done it. Now, I've always been someone who's heavily invested thousands of pounds in mentorship um, and sponging off the right people, people I look up to, like I say, people who have social proof um, and are doing the thing. However, I believe in 2023, myself, even some of the team, they will agree that we essentially stopped investing, even though we always had those people in our corner and still were being mentored things, um, we weren't seeking new challenge in terms of being exposed to new ways of thinking, i.e. not investing in certain courses at the right times when maybe we needed it and we became quite rigid and maybe stuck in our way of thinking. So whilst I'm someone who's always massively believed and vouched for mentorship and seeking help um, and fast-tracking growth, on the flip side of that, I've also seen the negative side of it of when you stop exposing yourself to things like that. So. Um, yeah, that would be my fourth lesson. Always, from the off, because it'll save time, it'll save money, um, invest in people who, who have been there, done it, and are doing it. Lesson number five, operating with the current feel and flow, operating and making decisions on emotion and not the data, even sometimes the data and getting too ahead of yourself is one of my biggest lessons. Um, again, a lot of these have came in 2023. Because like I say, I think from, from day one from opening, we've seen a massive linear like, effect in terms of growth. And then after certain times, things do start to break. Every hire that you, every person that you employ, I've seen the stat increases the, um, the complexity. Is that a word? Mm -hmm. It is, isn't it? <laughs> the complexity of your business by 33% every single person that you hire. We were at a point where we had seven or eight members of staff just for the training club. And this is my full point, let alone the coffee club. And then the third business that we started in 2023, Coach Collective. So where I'm going with this is, just because things are playing sailing and, and constantly on the up, don't think that it's always gonna be like that. Um, and then just because that is happening, don't then get bored and start seeking different things. That comes, I think, with experiencing um, and going through those times, which lead to things being a bit chaotic. Um, it, it comes from experiencing things breaking and a little bit of negativity and then a little bit of a downward spiral. But then also on the flip side of that, when you're in that little rut and you are on the way down, you have to understand you just need to ride the wave and that it's an opportunity for growth and that you're always going to come out the other side of it, which is absolutely what's happening, what's happened. Um, I've learned a lot from it, from all my experiences. Um, I see everything as a lesson. 2023 massively is uh, the, the main 
the main year of growth and lessons. Um, but yeah, I guess to summarise that fifth lesson is to, just because things are going well, don't seek different stuff just to try and nurse, um, nurture your own ego um, or boredom. Um, remember what you're doing, why you're doing it, and just keep pushing for the thing that matters and staying true to the mission as opposed to looking for different things. Right guys, that's a wrap on video two of 2024. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. A little bit different again, more behind the scenes type of stuff. Um, we've obviously seen the, um, the way we intake people at the TC, what goes into the, the members and, and how we look after them off the floor. Um, you've seen us in the, in the back end numbers and data side of things for the coffee club which is the, the second business under this roof. Of course, you've had the five lessons, five, five of my biggest lessons as a gym owner. Um, so I hope it's provided some value. I hope it's a nice watch for you. I um, hope you've enjoyed it as always. Um, and if you could, please, because it does mean a lot and it allows us um, to reach more people. It allows us to have a positive effect on more men, um, which is obviously the training club's mission to help men find their purpose and unlock their potential. And the more views, the more subscribers, the more likes and comments even, the more direction on what content you want to see that we get, it's only going to improve the impact that we can have. So, like I say, like, hit a comment below on what, what content you want to see going forward. Um, and of course, subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you at the next one. The next video is going to be a collaborative one with a fitness powerhouse in the Northeast, um, which you will all know. So keep your eyes and ears peeled for that one. Um, and if you have enjoyed this video, please go and watch some of the previous videos as well. We've got a full series from one to 10 videos, um, all things around the brand in 2023. Uh, go and give that a watch. And then obviously my last video, you can go and see how I nearly died at the end of 2023, which might be um, a bit of a laugh for some of you. So peace, I'll see you at the next one.